Alright, what's going on? Big C Richie here, aka Richie, and today we are going to do the top 5 small forwards in the game. Now, some of them might be fairly obvious, but there are some surprises in there as well. I'm excited to get in the top 5. No time to waste. Let's bring it in at number 5. Alright, coming in at number 5 is the 97 overall playoffs edition Kevin Durant. While this card does almost damn near everything, I had to put him at number 5 because of the low 3 ball. Low 3 ball put this guy at number 5 and barely at number 5. We have an honorable mention that I'll name at the end of the video, but right now we'll get into Kevin. He's got a 97 mid-range, a 93 pointer, but... Without the shoe, I think he's somewhere at an 83 or an 82. I'm not 100%, but a 90 free throw nonetheless. 94 ball control, which is very good. He's got an 83 defensive rebound. So not only can you run him at the small forward, but if you had to, you can run him at the power forward, which I do. So he's got a good shot contest, good on ball defense at an 82. It's good, not great, but enough to get the job done. So happy with that. 84 pick and roll defense. And then his speed. 86 84 it's a little I, I mean it's good not great again it's not bad by any means if he had a speed shoe on him it'd be awesome but then you're taking speed over offense which with this card i would take offense now he's got good stamina at a 98 so overall just a nice little juggernaut little offensive juggernaut i put him at number five 97 playoff edition kevin durant All right, coming in at number four, we have the 97 overall Throwback Thursday 2014 Carmelo Anthony. Now, this card is absolutely, if not the best offensive card in the game. The best release, the best shooting. I mean, this card pretty much does it all, but it does lack in an area or it would be so much higher on the list. He's got a standing layup of a 98, driving layup 95, his mid-range a 98, and that's without shoe, people. A 98 without shoe, that's unbelievable. A 95 freaking standing three-pointer, unbelievable. 96 free throw. He's got good defensive rebound, but now we get down to the stats that kept him at number four, 60 defensive consistency. <laughs> you serious? Yikes. 76 on ball, yikes. But again, those stats really don't matter as you can play good on ball, but because they are lower stats, he's at number four. If they were any bit higher, hell, if they were in the low 80s, he would be definitely number two, maybe even number one. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. He would definitely be a lot higher than number four. But he's got nice driving dunk at an 85. He's got 97 speed with a speed shoe on. Uh, I have a speed shoe on him, so 97 speed, 85 acceleration. He's got good strength, good stamina. Guys, this card is overall your best small forward offensively in the game. But because of lack of defense, I have at number 4, 97 Throwback Thursday, Carmelo Anthony. Let's move on to number 3. Alright, coming in at number 3, we have 96 overall, Paul George, Moments Edition. He is 6'9", he's got an amazing standing layup, 94, 95 driving layup, post fadeaway of a 78, so not amazing by any means. Draw foul at an 84, and here we go, we got some amazing shooting stats for this card. 91 mid-range, 94 standing three-pointer. 94 standing three-pointer, that's the same as the 99 overall LeBron. This <laughs> Card is absolutely amazing. He's got a good defensive rebound at 80, so if you had to run him at a power forward, you could. Um, it's not definitely one of the better small forwards to run at power forward, but with an 80 defensive rebound, he could definitely get it done. And then he's got great defensive consistency at 90, a good on-ball defense at 85, and then a nice, very nice driving dunk at a 90. Good speed with a 96 with the shoe on. 85 acceleration uh the strength is a little bit lacking which is crazy because paul george is definitely a powerful dude no homo 
Offensive consistency at a 98, which is great. And then this card just has an amazing jump shot. An amazing jump shot, butter release, super easy, super quick. Guys, it was such a tight race between number three and number two. I wanted to put Paul George at number two. There was just some other stats on the number two that barely squeezed him above. But this is your number three, 96 overall, Paul George. Let's hop into number two. All right, coming in at number two is your Julius Irving, Dr. J. Now, a little undersized at 6'6 for small forward. I actually ran Dr. J at shooting guard for a long time because of his size. But this guy is an amazing overall small forward. You got a 98 standing layup, 98 driving layup, good post control. Um, he's got a draw foul of 79. Oh my god! I was very, very disappointed in that. Um, I feel like that's incredibly low in today's age. If you sneeze on someone, you get a foul. I feel like that's incredibly low, but I guess in his day and age, he didn't get much fouls, which is hard to believe. But he's got a great mid-range at a 94, an 88 three ball. Dr. J didn't shoot threes. I don't know why they're so generous with Dr. J and not Kevin Durant at the three ball, but they gave him an 88, which is very, very good. He's got 85 ball control, 84 free throw. Um, his passing is meh. But he's got uh, no rebounding, so not a power forward. Like I said, you wouldn't want to anyway. 6'6", six, six, no power forward necessary for this guy. You could even run him at the 2 if you absolutely had to. But the reason that um, I put him at number 2 over Paul George has better defensive stats at a 95 defensive consistency, on ball at a 94. But the main stat, the driving dunk, a 98. Guys, this guy finishes at the rim with a 98 driving layup and a 98 driving dunk. He's finishing it no matter what. He's got an 85 contact dunk. He's got 92 speed with a shoe on. With a shoe on, make sure that's noted. And then 94 acceleration, 98 vertical. Guys, he does it all. He's got the speed. He's got the offense. He's got the driving dunk, and he's got the defense. Only thing, he's not going to get many fouls called, but I'm sure you'll still get a few called. Guys, it's no-brainer. Number two comes in at the 97 MVP, Julius Serving. Let's get into number one. All right, and coming in at number one is probably no surprise to anyone, the 99 overall playoffs edition Cleveland, Ohio champion LeBron James. Really no surprise here. He's 6'8 and does it all. He's got a 98 standing layup, 98 driving layup, post fadeaway of an 84, 82 draw foul. Again, so low on the draw foul. What the hell? If you even breathe next to LeBron I'm pretty sure you can get a foul called I don't know why that's so low but whatever standing mid-range of a 97 amazing I put a three-point shoe on him so he's got a 99 three-pointer but regularly he has a 94 um he has an 80 free throw which is good because he usually sucks at free throws an amazing passer this card has amazing passing amazing amazing and then defensive rebound of a 95 I would actually run this card at power forward because of that rebound, and I do, but because he's got small forward position on the card, he's in our number one top position for the small forward. Defensive consistency, I mean, this card is just the best card in the game. 95 on Paul, 95. His driving dunk is an 89. Um, his speed's an 88, 86, so good speed. I wouldn't say great. Great is in the 90s, good is in the 80s, but still super fast, guys. This card is the best card in the game. It's been rated higher than the 99 overall collection reward. Jordan, right. Which is crazy, but it has been. Amazing 99 overall playoff edition, championship edition LeBron James at our number one. And our honorable mention is going to be the 96 Diamond Kawhi for Defensive Player of the Year. This card is very good, however, because of its slow shot animation, it did just fall short of the list. But I did want to mention him because he is amazing. 88 mid-range, 89 standing shot, 3-pointer. He's got not good passing, but 
fairly decent at 71 defensive rebounds so not a guy that you would want to run at a stretch for in my opinion but one of the best defensive cards in the game 98 defensive consistency 98 on ball 98 pick and roll help defense the works um his speed is on the lower end as well again why he fell short but definitely a good card he's one of the cheaper diamonds out there he runs a little under 100k so if you can't afford any of the big dogs go ahead and pick him up definitely worth an honorable mention guys we have the shooting guard top five coming out very shortly i appreciate all the love and support on the positional uh, on the positional videos guys if you want to see a top five amethyst or top five amethyst uh position videos as well um, let me know in the comments below if that would be something of interest to you. I could definitely pump those videos out. I don't know how interesting they would be at this point in the game, seeing it's damn near over. But if it's something you guys want me to do, I have no problem doing it. I really do appreciate all the love and support on this series. You guys love it. You guys can't wait for the next one to come out. And I, I can't believe it. That's awesome. So hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Let's get this video to we can get this video to 250 likes we'll pump out the shooting guard one right away so 250 likes we'll pump that shooting guard out video out right away hit the subscribe button if you're new and richie nation party on